I think that uh, you all gathered here to learn how to become uh, spaceship commanders in your companies and uh, also learn how to promote good practices within your teams uh, with using the gamification concept. So let's start. Uh, my name is Tomasz Borowski and uh, I'm the JavaScript and Ruby on Rails developer. I'm also the lead developer on several projects in the company where I work. I'm also the football player and the runner because I really love sport. But uh, in case of this presentation, I'm the spaceship commander who is collecting minerals for the Cilio organization, which is the software development house at the south of Poland in Bielsko Biała. Uh, right. So I started working uh, some time ago in Cilio and uh, I quickly became a lead developer on several projects. And I started observing my team, how they behave, how they per perform. And uh, in a short time, I've noticed that uh, there is uh, plenty of room for improvement uh, in the way we work. And uh, yeah, I thought maybe I could do something about it. And what were the issues that we experienced, what uh, we could improve? The first thing was the motivation. Uh, in motivation, I mean, for example, there were different expectations uh, from the projects, from the developers. Uh, for instance, we could have uh, one developer who uh, was seeking for the projects which be used uh, by millions of users, which uh, made him famous. And the second one was just looking for the technical uh, experiments, for the challenges, and uh, the way to learn new stuff. The other thing in motivation issues was a lack of appreciation. And yeah, it still happens that there are some clients that just can't say good, uh, good job, well done, after hours and hours of coding on this super new feature. And yeah, this lack of appreciation is, is, is a real problem sometimes. The other thing, uh, from the motivation stuff was boredom. And I mean that uh, there are some uh, developers who are stuck on the one project for a very, very long time because the project is so successful and uh, it requires uh, uh, constant support from these developers. And he just can't uh, experiment with new technologies and, and learn new stuff. So yeah, boredom. So these were the motivation issues, but there were, there were also some communication issues that could be improved. Communication or planning. One of them was big untrackable tasks. Uh, developers used to make these very nice big tasks in the tracking software that, uh, for instance, as this uh, invoicing module that uh, has totally unknown complexity and because of that, we can't say when it will be done. So that was the one issue, these big untrackable tasks. But also, uh, we had a problem with not up-to-date tasks in the tracking software. Uh, sometimes there was a situation when developer uh, uh, comes in the morning uh, to the office, he takes a uh, piece of paper and uh, he makes a uh, notes. So I will do this, this, this today and all right. And uh, he, as soon as he finish some task, he doesn't update it in the tracking software. So at the end of the day or even in the next day, we have this magical jump from the backlog into done state. So these tasks weren't even in progress. Uh, and uh, during this time of development, the team leader uh, or lead developer doesn't know anything about the progress and also the product owner doesn't know anything about the progress. So these were the issues. I uh, thought that uh, I can uh, make some improvement to, to, to uh, have my team uh, working better at this, in these areas. So. I started thinking, what can I do with it? So there were two, uh, some few facts. 
First one, I'm the web developer, so I'm supposed to create uh, web applications. The second one is at uh, that point of time, I just uh, completed a master degree on video games production, and I was using the game like fitness applications, for example, Zombies Run or, or, or Nike Running, because I, I, I like this concept. And finally, I've watched several inspiring videos from uh, game designer Jesse Shell, uh, who worked uh, someday at uh, Disney. Now he runs his own co company. And uh, all these facts uh, draw some conclusion for me that I have to start some experiment. And this experiment will be a gamification. Can I actually gamify the workplace where I work? So, the plan was that. We have our developers in company, and they are using on daily basis U-Track tracking software. And they are creating tasks, they are solving tasks. And uh, I thought that I will add this additional layer of gamification as a separate application, which is called U-Game. And it will be synchronizing data with U-Track, and for each completed task, in new track, the developer will be able to score some points of experience, and that should be fun, right? So that was the plan, and uh, the objectives for this first level of imp implementation of UGame was to uh, promote this good practice of splitting big tasks into the smaller ones, uh, but also uh, uh, create this habit of uh, keeping the tracking software up to date so at any point of time uh, when somebody enters the tracking software he has this information about the current progress and finally add this uh, fun factor um, add this possibility to feel rewarded after a good work by granting these points to the developers so I made the first uh, step and I called it the uh, first version of UGame and it basically uh, had a mm, board with uh, current assignments for each developer uh, where any other developers could see the, 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 the uh, current assignments like backlog, the in-progress tasks and uh, the tasks that have been, recent, uh, have been recently completed. There was also this activity stream which uh, was basically the timeline, what happened uh, recently on the tracker. And there was this global ranking, which uh, mm, was able to tell who is, who is the best in the given period of time. And there were uh, filters for uh, day, week, and month. So uh, if somebody performs well, he causes uh, a lot of tasks. He, there is a high chance that he would be uh, the very top of this global ranking. So that was the first level of implementation. And I asked myself, is that final? Is, is this uh, the application I was looking for? So uh, during the way, I took a course of gamification on Coracera. Uh, it was brilliant, by the way. And I uh, learned more about the gamification. I also asked for feedback for my colleagues from the company, and the feedback was uh, basically like that. Wow, what a nice usage of Utrack API. So, but there was no comment like, oh, it looks fun, let's try. So, yeah, and also I made some critical thinking about my application, and uh, well, apparently, I created new problems, more problems, than I actually solved it. So what were the new problems? I created pointification instead of gamification. I started granting some meaningless points to the users uh, just for performing tasks. And uh, these points were not expressing anything but, the, but the, your position in global ranking. So. Yeah, I'm scoring points, but who cares? The other thing, uh, is global ranking. I bet there, there would be some uh, brilliant manager who would take this uh, global ranking and just uh, take a look, not who is on the top, 
but who is on the bottom. And you are, when you are at the bottom of the global ranking, it might think that uh, this person might think that you are the first person to be fired. Also, uh, such ranking was promoting only the competition within the developers. But I would like rather to promote the collaboration between people. It's much more important. So there was something to change there. And finally, yeah, we are scoring points, but but for what? So there was fun missing, obviously, and there was no progression. So yeah, scoring points, but but for what? I, I can't see that uh, my m me as a player is getting better and better in this game. So I didn't give up, and uh, I took these uh, problems and uh, started thinking. Uh, what can I improve in the current implementation uh, to make it better? So, I thought that I will introduce some uh, plot. I will introduce some maybe safe mankind theme that would uh, uh, add this meaning to the game. And since it's a game, game should have some rules. Uh, so maybe should I introduce such ones? And finally, let's get rid of this global ranking, which is uh, risky, and use the personalized one. So that were uh, ideas for improving the situation. And uh, the mission objectives for level two is to uh, give the team the goal, which is shared among them. So even we have a few teams in our company, uh, developers who work on many, many projects, they have in this game the same goal. So they should collaborate at some level. The other objective uh, is to uh, express this uh, overall uh, effort of a player and uh, keep the information about his, his progress, uh, indicate his progress in the game uh, in the some kind of player's profile. And finally, as I said, get rid of this global ranking and introduce the personalized one. So the rule is that uh, I can see only the one person who is on, on, uh, above me in the ranking and one person below me. So if I want to see who is on the top, I have to be on the top. I have to advance at least on the second position. But when I want to see who is the bottom of the ranking, then I have just to do nothing. I will be there in some time. So that was the second step of the implementation. Totally changed, uh, at least from the graphic side. And uh, yeah, I've added uh, this saving mankind theme to the application. And the rules, were, uh, the rules are uh, like that. There is a last hope organization that is uh, created for saving mankind because Earth is overpopulated and uh, everything goes bad. And this organization seeks for the new settlements in the new universe to, 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 to just um, give humans the ability to live uh, somewhere else than in there, on Earth. And uh, yeah, and each month, at the first day of the month, engineers land on the certain planet and uh, of course this planet is uh, inhabited by the hostile race and they have to collect, uh, the engineers have to collect the enough uh, uh, quantity of uh, uh, mineral, uh, in, this in this case it's palladium, to take over the control of hostile race and uh, have this settlement for the, for the humans. So they have time to the end of the month to collect enough minerals. And yeah, that was the screenshot uh, from last month. My colleagues uh, uh, did great on this month and we completed that mission. And uh, yeah, so that was the mission screen. There was also the screen for, for the, uh, this activity, the, the, the timeline of the last uh, um, things that happened on the, on the tracker. And there is this personalized ranking. So 
there are three dots uh, in the top and three dots on the bottom. If you want to see something above, you have to advance. And finally, there is this uh, player's profile where you can see your current experience, current level of your uh, character. Uh, at that point of time, I was the nuclear reactor engineer. It was a cool position. And uh, also, I have this simple uh, information about uh, what are the tasks in my backlog, which are in the progress state, and with, uh, which ones have been recently completed. Also, there is a place for achievements. And there's uh, one achievement for um, performing and at the internal meeting where we share knowledge between uh, uh, teams. And I made some presentation uh, about the recently used uh, patterns and libraries. And as an achievement, I, I scored a, a nice badge. So that was the second step of implementation of Ugame. And again, I asked myself, is that final? I, is it all I, I wanted? So um, there were several other issues that I noticed uh, in the company. For example, we have a very um, uh, difficult uh, information flow. There were situations uh, where one team started a project two months ago. And uh, after this time, the other team was not aware of it. And uh, it was very difficult to prepare for, for some kind of manager. Uh, 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 the information, the, the, the update, the monthly update for the company, because uh, it takes a lot of time and it requires uh, a lot of knowledge on what's happening on all projects. So I thought maybe uh, we can do something about it. And also, uh, the second thing was that uh, we are promoting now only the, um, some, some kind of uh, uh, closing tasks in the tracking software, but there are also other, uh, but there are good practices that uh, could be also rewarded. And for example, these are automated tests, uh, uh, code reviews, and knowledge sharing, which was partially done by these badges. So uh, the mission objectives was to prepare uh, let the user prepare the uh, weekly reports, and I mean that uh, each uh, lead developer for certain projects uh, was making the, the report for the organization unit, and uh, this email uh, was sent uh, once a week, um, and everybody could uh, read uh, about uh, news about the company and the current progress on projects, and implement the API for the U game. So uh, users could be scoring points and uh, achievements from the external applications. And uh, such a thing we are doing with uh, our another tool for uh, performing code reviews. And uh, after a short implementation, there was, a, uh, there was an update. Uh, so uh, this is an example of, of such an email. We have the information about the current progress on the mission. Uh, my my uh, position in the ranking in the last week and who is a leader in uh, the previous week. And finally, there is a list of organization reports. Uh, so knowledge, knowledge about the company. And finally, uh, I've introduced the application, the API. So um, now it is able to uh, communicate with uh, other applications. Again, I ask myself, is that final? So, no, it's not final. There are plenty of other uh, features that could be implemented. For instance, uh, there is a possibility of uh, integration with other trackers. There is not only U-Track on the scene. Um, also, there is uh, ability to add some personal goal. Uh, we can implement some TV-friendly interface, uh, side quests, and uh, challenges and lots of other stuff that could make this game better and more engaging. Right. But there is a good news. If you want to collaborate, the Ugame is open source for some time. And uh, yeah, we are looking for the people who would like also to, to contribute uh, in such an experiment. And this experiment uh, was uh, 
taken under the uh, Mixtura IT community, which we have uh, at the south of Poland. Uh, we have um, monthly meetings or periodical meetings uh, where we share knowledge from uh, different areas around IT. And also we are making some experiment apps. There is an example of a married money application for giving a kudos for uh, uh, it's for 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 the for the other developers for performing well or for just uh, uh, helping uh, each other. Uh, yeah, and uh, we use it to calculate bonuses in our company. Right. So there is this final question from the title of the presentation: How I became a spaceship commander? And uh, the answer is. I've collected at least 10,000 points, experience points in new game. And the second part is that I had a lot of fun while experimenting with gamification. And uh, it is the thing that I recommend to do, just experiment. Thank you. <laughs>